Welcome to DBGum Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure Draytech Vigor 960 AP. So before we are going to start the configuration, let's go and see the specifications. Then after that, I am going to show it to you the topology. Then I am going to show it to you how to configure Vigor 960 AP. If you see the specifications, Vigor 960 AP is a 11x ceiling mount wireless access point. So the 11x is nothing but it's going to support the Wi-Fi 6. And if you see the rate for 5 giga edge and 2.4, and for 5 giga edge it's going to support up to 1.2 Gbps. For 600, uh, for 2.4 it's going to support up to 600 Mbps. And especially it's suitable for high density environments. And you can able to manage this access point through cloud or you can able to manage through your router. So in case if you want to do a standalone also, you can able to do it through standalone. So right now I'm going to show it to you how to do the configuration in standalone mode. And by the way, this access point is going to act as a root AP and through this root AP, you can able to manage up to seven mesh nodes. So let's go and see what are exactly what our interfaces are there. And there is a reset button. And if you see on the top of this access point, there is a reset button. In case if you uh, if you don't get the password or in case if uh, you find some issues and simply you can just hold to up to 15 seconds then automatically you just take a paper clip and hold for 15 seconds then automatically the access point will get reset. And there is a LAN port is there and it supports PoE by default. So in case if you have a PoE switch, you can connect it directly. So in case if you don't have a PoE switch, directly you can connect the DC power. And this port is going to support 10 Mbps, 100 Mbps, and 1000 Mbps. It's a RJ45 port. So this is what exactly how the device. Now, if you see my lab topology, I have a Vigor 2962. And uh, Vigor 2962, which is acting as my Dretec router, port number one is connected directly to ISP. And through ISP, I'm getting the WAN IP as a DHCP. And port number six, which is connected to my laptop, and port number five, which is connected to the access point, which is 192.168.1.1. So for the LAN subnet, I thought of it, I want to give you 192.168.50 network, but I want to keep it as it is. But in my next lab, I'm going to show it to you in case if you have a multiple VLANs, and if you want to configure each, each SSID into different VLAN, how you are going to deploy that. So in that lab, I'm going to show it to you different uh, VLANs, different subnets and all. But in this lab, I'm going to stick to 192.168.1 network. So first of all, let's go and check whether I can able to reach 192.168.1.1, which is my Vigad Retech router. And as you know that this is the default IP address for your Vigad router. And uh, by default, you can able to access through 192.168.1.1 and the default username is admin and default password is admin. And before I'm going to access, just go and check the IP address reachability. Yes, I can able to reach. Then after that, open the browser and already I open here and I already entered that IP address. If you see on my address bar, you can able to see the default IP address and there is a default username is admin and default password is admin. Say login. So once you log in here, you are going to see the nice dashboard, guys. By using this dashboard, you can able to see what are the interfaces are active. And as I told you that if you see the LAN number four, which is connected to the access point and port number six, which is connected my PC, guys, and port number one, which is connected with the internet, but it's showing as a orange color because orange color is indicating that you are connected with either 10 or 100 Mbps. The green is indicating that you are connected with 1000 Mbps. And by the way, if you see here, this is going to support 2.5 Gbps also, guys. There is a multi gig port is there. So that's the beauty of this. So in case if you are connected with multi gig, you can able to yeah and up to two van connections you can able to terminate it by the way if you see port number two it has a combo port you can connect either fiber or you can connect the copper and it has a usb ports as well and this is your initial dashboard guys by seeing that you can understand that what is the model of the router that you are using what's the time zone and by the way i need to change my time zone according to my country so right now i'm in dubai so i just want to go to the system maintenance then after that you can go to time and date then you can see here by default it's going to sync from pool.ntp.org but i just want to change my time zone from 
GMT plus four guys. So I'm belongs to Dubai. So I'm going to change according to my time zone. Then after that, you can click OK now. You can see now time is 627 in the evening and today is 26. Yeah. And if you want to change the password, you just go here, click on the administrator password and you can able to change it here. And one more thing, guys, already I have terminated my internet connection as well. And if you want to check the routing table here, just go here and click on the diagnostics and select the routing table. Then you can see here the routing table, you can able to see it here. So keep remember that whenever you get the DHCP from your service provider, I mean the public IP, whenever you are getting from your service provider or it's a private IP, then automatically the default route is going to inject. So this is what you can able to see it here. Because as I told you guys, my connection is, is uh, you know, internet is uh, internet connection, which is provided by my service provider through DHCP. So that's why this default route has injected in my routing table. And these are the networks for service provider. And this is my local network. And again, as I told you, I have connected my access point and you can, if you want to see what IP address it has taken, just click on DHCP table and you can see here, my PC has taken 192.168.1.11 and my Vigor AP960C, which is taken 192.168.1.10. So in case if you want to access, you can go and access it as well. So I just want to access this one, guys. Let's go and access it. 192.168.1.10. And it has by default before I configure some configurations. If it is not there, I'm going to show it to you how to configure it as well. Say admin and admin. So it's going to log in now. So in case if you want to do a factory reset, you can able to do it this one, guys. So it's very simple. Go to system maintenance. Then after that, you can see here there is a reboot system. There you can able to select here use factory default settings. So as I told you, whenever you are going to log into any Dretec device, initially just go to the system maintenance and you can upgrade the firmware from here. And if you want to change the password, you can able to change it from here. If you want to change the date and time, you can able to change it from here. So right now it has selected as a plus four. That's fine for me. Yeah. So anything, if you want to do some changes, you can able to do it directly. So right now I'm going to select United Arab Emirates. Say okay now. So once you click OK, that's fine for us guys. It has taken the right date and time. So these are the things mostly you are going to do. Now, if you see here on the dashboard, you can able to see a nice visibility guys. So what IP address it has taken and what's the name. And in case if you want to change, you can able to change it as well. And again, if you see the firmware version, which is the latest version guys, and the gateway and the MAC address. And if you go down, you can able to see the CPU usage, memory usage, and also if you see, the recent activities in fast 24 because just now i have started my ap so that you cannot see any activities at the moment and you can see the settings for your radio settings 2.4 the overview 5 gigahertz radio and you can see what's the throughput at the moment it's utilizing and usage per ssid you can see it here how much is the usage and in case if any of the clients if they connected you can able to see them as well so this is what exactly guys and one more thing if you go here the operation mode so by default, if you see it's acting as a AP mode. So in case if you change it, you can able to, as I told you that it's going to support as a mesh route and you can able to add up to seven nodes. So if you want to make it, if you want to configure it as a mesh route, you can just select mesh. Then after that, select mesh route. That's it. But I want to use it as a AP because I'm going to configure it as a standalone mode. So that's why I selected as a AP. Then after that, click on the wireless LAN, then click on general setup. Then if you see here, already I have configured DVCOM office staff. By default, I have configured guys. And did you notice one important thing here? There is a VLAN ID by default I kept as zero. Means I don't have any VLANs. That's why I kept as a zero. Makes sense everybody guys. This is very important and very interesting. So in case if you have a multiple VLANs, then you can able to create it. Okay, and you can add the VLAN tag as well. So if you notice here by default, for 2.4 giga edge, you can able to configure up to four SSIDs. And again, if you go and see the five giga edge guys, just click on this and click on general setup. Then again, you can able to configure five giga edge up to four SSIDs. So per radio, you can able to configure up to four SSIDs. And these SSIDs you can keep into different VLANs. So that's the beauty of that. And also, if you want to do any fine tuning, you can able to do it as well. And again, if you want to define the password, you can able to define it as well. So this is the password which I given, but try to give you the strong password, guys. And also, if you notice here, there is a radius server. If you want to 
integrate with your radius server you can able to do it as well in my upcoming videos i'm going to show it to you how to configure the access point how to integrate the vigor 960c with your radius server i'm going to show it to you as well so that's the one of the beautiful stuff guys so that you can able to use the usernames and password so i'm going to create some usernames and passwords in my active directory and i'm going to integrate that yep so this is what exactly how you are going to do guys and in case if you want to block some mac addresses uh, if you want to do a mac based filtering you can able to do it as well and this is the limit for up to 256 entries so for example maybe some it managers they must have a requirement so only this specific mac address is allowed the remaining has to be denied even though they got the password they connected but still if the mac address is not there so that you know they are not able to access it so you can able to block or you can able to deny it whatever you want you can able to do it as well so this is for your mac based filtering guys so right now this policy is disabled so you can able to enable it or disable it whatever you want you can do it yeah so that's the beauty of this and uh, let's go and see it for checking purpose what i'm going to do now just i'm going to log out now and let's see I'm going to enable the SSID now. Right now it is disabled my Wi-Fi. Just click on this and say enable. And let's see. See here you got it. DVCom office staff. Okay. And click on this. Say connect. So it's going to connecting now. In case if the password is there, it's going to connect it now. Again for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, I can't forget the same. See here it has connected. And let's go and check it. IP config. And what's the IP address? I got it, guys. 1.12 through my LAN Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to open the website. And by the way, I have connected the wire as well. I'm going to disconnect the wire. Yes, I have disconnected now. So let's open Google.com. There you go. And I'm trying to access some of the websites. www.dretech.com. See it. So in case if I want to browse, I can able to browse it as well. So this is the beauty of the Dretech Vigor 960C. So whatever configurations you want to do it, you can do it completely from GUI. So that's the beauty of that one, guys. And um, if you want to add multiple access points, you can able to add it as well. And if you want to configure it individually, you can able to configure it. Or if you want to control these access points through your router, you can able to control it as well. So your router is going to act as a wireless LAN controller. So that is the beauty of that. In my upcoming videos, you can able to see those things as well. So anyway, please subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. And if, once if you start subscribing, then you can able to see the alerts so that you can watch my new latest videos. Thank you for watching guys. And for sales, please send us an email sales at datawise.com. For support, please send us an email support at datawise.com. Thank you.